je m'appelle Bruno Cadoré, je suis frère dominicain. Euh, j'ai 56 ans. My name is Bruno Cador. I'm a Dominican friar, 56 years old, followed a course of formation in the Dominicans and have been in the order for 30 years. I completed my studies in moral theology. I came to the general chapter as prior provincial of France, along with my brothers representing this province. In the order I held several positions before becoming provincial as master of Dominican students and prior of a friary. Avant de devenir provincial. J'ai fait des études de médecine en France, donc et je me destinais à être médecin pour les enfants. en France, dans le domaine de la pédiatrie. C'était ce que j'avais envie de faire, de travailler avec les enfants. L'endroit où j'avais un particulier intérêt était la hématologie. C'était mon main intérêt. Un jour, je suis entré dans, une, dans, un, dans une, l'église d'un couvent. Je ne savais pas, mais j'ai cherché où est-ce qu'il y avait un couvent dominicain, je ne sais pas. One day I set foot in a friary church. I did not know why I was looking for a Dominican friary. And that day the community had gathered in prayer. What I saw was a community of friars in a very free and joyful atmosphere. In that period I went through a phase of discernment. In fact, since I had worked with sick children, I was unsure. I told myself that I had to have another view of the world, one other than disease, death and the difficulties of life. And then I came into this church, and there I had the impression that they were looking for something real, free and joyful. So I went, occasionally, to pray with the friars, and little by little, I joined the order. After the novitiate, my province asked me to go and live with friars in Haiti. That was a very important moment for me. First, I did not know what a community of preachers would be like. Secondly, I did not know that part of the world where people live in extremely precarious situations. There was also a dictatorship. It was very disorganized. And there I got to know the friars who lived in a large region, in the countryside, in the mountains, and had begun to organize the work of their parish as a basic Christian community based on the concept of fraternity. And in those two years, among the people, coming to know the gospel, hearing their sermons, I believe I learned the gospel with them. And that was decisive for me, and something I never forgot. Et ça a été pour moi déterminant, puisque depuis, je n'ai jamais réussi à oublier ça. Un Dominicain, c'est un frère prêcheur, donc c'est un frère qui vit avec des frères, qui veut vivre avec des frères. A Dominican is a friar, a preacher, and therefore is a brother who lives with his brothers, who wants to live with his brothers, because only then do you share the word of God, and that's how we become the men we are, men who preach trying to follow the example of Jesus, that is, going to meet people facing calamities, listening, taking time to know what life they lead, what are their questions, living together with them and searching with them for the truth of God's word. I still don't know well what the role of the Master General is. I'll find out. I have an idea of what has been the role of Master General, even if I don't know well what it entails. I feel that the essential work is to know one's fellow friars, to learn to love them, preach with them, and at the same time discover how the Word of God reveals itself among the people through preaching the Word and exchanging dialogue with people. I also believe that the master of the order is the servant of unity among all brothers, among all these communities, among all these provinces, between all these cultures that are so different. Through the mystery of unity which we have been given, I believe there's the joy of being recipients of God's word, the joy of loving people as the Son of God did, as St. Dominic did, the freedom to take the time together to try to understand others. This is the way forward, the way to follow in life, which is the meaning of life. Voilà.